Breaking new information. Right now at 6 o'clock, Charlotte on the cutting edge of solar technology. New projects saving millions of dollars and probably saving lives. Good evening. Welcome. I'm Paul Cameron. I'm Maureen O'Boyle. Charlotte will soon be using the sun to bring light back to a stretch of road that has been dangerously dark for months. Our Jeff Atkinson breaking this story tonight. Jeff, I understand this is going to save some big bucks. Absolutely, Maureen. How about cutting it in half and really getting the price back down to where the state can pay for it? Tonight we're talking about the street lights on I-277, the Brookshire Freeway, that haven't worked right for five years. And right now, you are looking at the answer to that lack of light that could put Charlotte on the map. It sits right on top of the pole. We showed you the solar panels and all the circuitry that goes along with it three months ago. A solar lighting company with a warehouse near Ballantyne says it can cure the lighting dilemma on the Brookshire Freeway that has plagued Charlotte for years. After our story, the state DOT got the company, SC Solar, to put up two solar lights along I-77 to test. Traffic engineer David Naylor likes what he sees. Ideally, we would love to do a new system. Um, that would be our best alternative, but trying to retrofit it, uh, you know, I think this is a very promising uh, solution. That's been the problem with the Brookshire. The state says the lighting system is completely shot and will have to start all over, rewiring everything. And that could cost up to three and a half million dollars, money the state DOT doesn't have for street lights. Solar will cost about one million bucks and could be up and running by next spring. It's a safety issue for our drivers. Charlotte Mayor Pat McCrory, who's used his bully pulpit to try to get the state to fix the lights, says this is good news. State DOT says were it not for solar lighting, Brookshire wouldn't get lights for perhaps another five years. My ego uh, doesn't require uh, the state to have to put in underground um, wiring at a cost of three or four or five million dollars. If they could do it for uh, much less the cost, I think it's a great and innovative, innovative thinking on the part of government. Ideally, the state would prefer regular lighting, but this setup, the solar, will work. Lights have to be lowered, probably not as low as they are on these poles, but the state says it is doable. The state says the solar meets the state's minimum lighting standards. Next stop, of course, coming up with the money, but the state DOT says coming up with a million dollars is going to be a lot easier than three or five million dollars, and they are optimistic. Jeff Atkinson, WBTV News 3, along I-77 in North Charlotte. Yeah, anyone who's driven in that area knows how awful it can be so dark out there. That'd be great. As Jeff said, if the state comes up with the money, I-277 will be the first major highway project in the country that uses solar lighting technology. W